Welcome to our revision course, and in particular, the F7 four-day, four-session revision course. So what I thought I would do as I put before you my revision program, the study planner, we have four sessions, so we've got four areas of the syllabus. The first area, obviously, question one, which is consolidations. So by the end of today, in the session that we have together, thanks for your time, we're going to be a little bit better at consolidations at the end of the session than we are as we start. This is my hope. When I see you next time, in a couple of days' time, on the Thursday, I intend to approach published accounts, question two, and I'll do questions where we have drafting and redrafting, because redrafting hasn't come up for a while. And using that momentum, when I see you in a few days after that, there's a bit of a gap, I'll pick up standards, since in publish we would have done lots of standards. So I'll use that momentum to carry on with standards. So that'll be the third session, and in the fourth session, of course, we'll be doing our interpretation and cash flows. This is the program. The question there that I want to do is called Paladin today. And it's question one from December 2011. As you know, we have been reminding you to download this from the uh, ACCA website. Otherwise, you, you lose a lot of the value of the session. And beyond that, of course, we've got the question there called Haydn, which requires a little bit of comments as well. So we'll see how the time goes. Um, the last bits I might just guide you through. And then as I look at the additional questions, the homework questions, they're all very nice questions. But if I had time, in other words, if I had a little bit more time on this session, I would have done the question called Hosteling. So if I can just put that in as priority homework. Okay, so just looking at my various questions over the last few days, I just wonder whether hosteling might have a chance. So if you can just squeeze that into the homework somewhere. In fact, I would make that my priority homework somewhere there. So this is the plan. Now comes the execution of that plan. The first thing I want to do is this question called... Paladin. I'm assuming, of course, you've come to this revision session having revised the basics. Yes, um, in other words, the class notes. And it's all step by step, as you know. And rather than going through all of that again and wasting your time, I'm assuming you've done the class notes, or at least you've got some idea. And so I'm using those skills to do this massive question called Paladin. I ch haven't chosen the one that came up last time. Obviously, that will not come up again for a little while. But I'm going back a few sittings and picking up what did not come up last time. For example, associates. In last time's exam question, we had a beautiful question with the PNL and SFP, Consolidated Statement of Financial Position, but we did not have an associate, which just means this time it's going to be associate for sure. Well, as far as one can tell because the examiner likes associates. Associates have been a bit quiet recently. So this is the question. So let's go directly into our, ans our requirements. As soon as you can, I'd recommend going to the requirements. Uh, prepare the consolidated statement of financial position. So let's begin to do that. So we've got here Paladin. So if you'd work with me, please. Question 1, December 2011. So you have there Consolidated Statement of Financial Position as at September 2011. And so that's my first page. Abbreviations are absolutely fine in the exam because the questions are so long, almost unreasonable. So any abbreviations would be accepted, provided they are known ones. 
But I leave that decision to you whether you want to write that out in full. Absolutely no problem either way. So Paladin CSFB continued, couple of dollar signs, and we're on our way. I tend to stretch my balance sheet, my CSFB, over two pages, uh, just in case, for some reason, if I'm doing it under pressure in the exam, and I make a mistake somewhere in my assets, I can cancel it and rewrite it and so on, and uh, I can still manage to accommodate it. But if I restrict myself to one page, <clears throat> I may be struggling, so be a little bit careful with that, excuse me. So two pages kept aside, and then we go to page three. Paladin workings. And what's the first working? You're right, group structure. A few seconds ago, we looked at our date, so we're going to say CSFB, 30th of September 2011. And at this stage, what I need to do is to give you a few seconds to read the question. Maybe we'll read it together, get familiar with this. <coughs> Excuse me. On the 1st of October 2010, so what sort of year are we dealing with? Okay, let's get that fixed in our minds. The year we are dealing with is 1st of October 2010 to September 2011. It's extremely important to get the financial year in your mind's eye, be focused. On the 1st of October, start of the current year, you acquire a majority <coughs> equity shareholding excuse me, in Saracen on the following terms. And I know with this particular question, the examiner was saying to us at a meeting, students panicked a little bit because the question didn't say 80% or 75%. It just says majority equity holding. So clearly what you need to do is to have a little look at the question. Maybe if I pause for a few seconds, to be fair to you, for 30 seconds or so, just give you a chance to fly over the question, and then I'll read it in the way you should have been reading it. Okay, so I'll just give you a few seconds to do that, please. Excuse me. So what have you picked up? An immediate payment of, I don't want to know about that, all I want to know is the group structure. That's the first thing you must get hold of. So jump around the question, getting your group structure organized. As you can see, if you let your eye come down the page, you'll see that Saracen, the middle company, has one dollar shares and the share capital of course is 10,000 in thousands. So I suppose if there's one dollar shares, you, there was 10,000. Uh, 10,000 in thousand, of course, is 10 million. So if I take my eight and divide by 10, the answer, of course, is 80%. So I've got a sub. And as far as Augusta is concerned, which is the other company, we've got there a 25% must be an associate. So in the absence of anything else, just go by percentage. Now that's enough ammunition.